Welcome to my very late video. <laughs> <laughs> we are in, where have we been? We are in Cabo, Mexico. Yes, and we'll be here for the week. And I am, I'm shooting this from my phone because clearly your girl has been tired, jet lagged, stressed about packing. But I'm impressed with your effort and keeping this steady for a while now. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, I didn't even have time to get my nails done. Like, they're, so I have it tomorrow. So, okay. Thank you for, I told them that you would have a cameo this week. So, thank you for your cooperation. All right. It's going to be a quick video, y'all. I apologize. This is not the normal format, but I will catch y'all up. Okay. So, this is on my phone. It's a little bit messy back here. Yeah, it is what it is. But, um, yeah. So, we are here celebrating... Kevin and Melissa, uh, Kev on stage and Mrs. Kev on stage on Instagram. They also have a YouTube channel, a Patreon, uh, an app, a studio, like lots of incredible things. So yeah, this, this week I feel like, I feel a little bit behind. <laughs> we are in Mexico for the week and by this weekend, we will be visiting the four apartments or yeah, like I think we have four tours booked of the city that we are ready to move to. So it's a big week, not only because we get to spend this week around a lot of married couples, like we just ran into Maddie and her husband, and like these are people that have been together for over a decade. So the stories that come from that and the wisdom and the perspective shared, like we're honored and humbled that we get to be around this type of energy and like just incredible people, people, uh, Tabitha Brown, Jackie Ina, like everyone here is so full of black excellence, but also just, man, like entrepreneurs, dreamers, hustlers, doers. It's, it's, I feel so full and I, we just got here this morning. Like <laughs> I've been up probably going on 18 hours. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I just, <sighs> and going like, yeah, we flew west, so just, we feel like it's later than it is. So the event is actually, it's starting tonight. Um, so we gotta get, <laughs> I'm gonna like rush and get this up and then we're heading over. Um, this is the first time I'll probably, first time in a while that I'm posting like real time. Um, when I was doing travel blogging work, I was always delaying my posts just out of just obviously respecting my privacy, but then also I needed time to curate the storyline and like really build people into the narrative of like, here's where I'm going, um, here's how I'm packing, here's what I'm gonna do, here's what to expect. And to make people like feel like they were following the journey for up to two weeks versus just like being there for the three days and then bouncing. So I'm just like realizing as a travel blogger, like it was embedded in your like, I don't know, your job description is that you like stretch the storyline and it's not that like we're pretending to be there for two weeks, but we would find enough content to fill a two week content calendar. So posting here and just posting real time and just sharing the daily updates and then that's it. You know, I'm, I'm excited for that because I feel like I haven't done that in a while and it allows you to be, be spontaneous and not take yourself too seriously. We're also working on some life leap marketing videos. So we're gonna create some funny stuff and overall like we both feel so empowered and inspired to lean into a side of ourselves that we've kind of been nervous about like we we know what's possible we know what social media can um afford you or the opportunities on the other side and i think we've both been kind of playing it safe because i think we're also like preparing like are we ready <laughs> for the next level of exposure responsibility accountability res yeah i said responsibility <laughs> Um, a lot of people just like wish for things like, oh, I want this. And then it comes, they're like, wait, it's too much work. So it's like, we are genuinely, like we're intentional about like, okay, if we're gonna dream bigger, we know that's gonna require more out of us. And we really like our work-life flow and, and harmony right now. So just figuring out what's gonna, what, what are we gonna sacrifice to get to that next level? And it's not even about like, you know, a, a follower count or a subscriber count, it's just, we know that we've been kind of doing just enough like regarding marketing and how we're putting our message out there. But if we like went all in on the podcast and actually like became a part of a podcast network, if we went all in on our like marketing and like really like shared a narrative that's like 
just different than what's already out there like what would come from it so those are a lot of the conversations happening and just being around a lot of inspiring entrepreneurs who are doing it and killing it at that it's just really cool so i guess the theme of this week is just excitement um i think it's always beautiful to have something on your calendar to look forward to and i think i've been looking forward to this week for a while like melissa she told me about this like a few months ago so i feel like i've been I mean, it's been several months that I've been like counting down, but it always felt like a date that was just gonna, I don't know, it always felt far away. Now that it's here, I'm like, oh wow, I've been looking forward to this for a minute. <laughs> so it's really exciting. And the way we were able to connect it to go to the city that we are wanting to move to, like it just, everything feels very beautiful. And it almost feels like this week is giving us permission and almost direction and instruction on how this next chapter is meant to be lived. So that's really exciting. Um, I'm not gonna lie, your girl is fresh off a of power nap. <laughs> I am probably gonna try to hit one more coffee <laughs> before we go because the event is five hours tonight and I'm like, I've got 30 minutes in me. <laughs> so just the adrenaline and the energy of other people will, will be great to carry us. And I think what's important like as a couple as well, sometimes you don't realize that you need to put yourself in social settings together as a couple and just like, practice that like it's not it's not um it's not talked about enough that like it's an art to learn how to network as a couple and speak as a unit like that takes practice <laughs> and we both come from expressive cultures so <laughs> like we just have to like always be mindful of like fix your face babe <laughs> like oh so that's been funny because we're already like feeling ourselves like practice it and then also just like the code language of like all right i'm getting tired like who's going back to the room first and stuff like that so that's been fun um it was really cool at the airport <laughs> we were spotted a few times i think i don't expect it but it's become so normal that like every time i'm flying i can expect someone to come up to me or tap me or like stare at me and like smile and it's it's that kind of like lingering like I know you but I don't want to bother you and that's always very sweet and I always say like I, I don't mind like if you come up and chat for a bit or if you ask for a photo I don't mind that at all it's one of those moments where it's like if you see me running late to my flight <laughs> very probable <laughs> if you see that I look like chaotic and stressed because that is airports for you then yeah maybe not a good time but any other time i will likely be chilling with my airpod max is on and just like jamming so there's a good chance <laughs> that that is a very approachable sign oh yeah okay that's about it again it's gonna be a short video i want to make it at least 10 minutes so i'll fill up a couple more <laughs> minutes but um we are officially enrolling our summer cohort we decided to push it back a month we were going to start in july but august would give us more of a runway to like really crank out one last marketing push so we're doing two cohorts per year right now that feels good we we're going to try for three but we really really love the quality of people that have been in this program and again i know it's not common for people to like start a course and then only um, open it up to a few people and that's not how it's going to be forever but because we are so like energetically invested and we spend a lot of time with these people one-on-one -on -one coaching bi-weekly coaching and then eventually we meet at the international mastermind we want it to be full of people that are supportive generous kind on healing journeys like self-aware um, empathetic like those core values that we really believe in we want to make sure every single person has that as well and that's why we're very intentional about the selection process and we are we've had two really great cohorts so we're two for two and so this third cohort we're like okay did we really do our best with advertising this third class or did we just kind of like you know put the applications out and then hope for the best so working on our newsletter strategy and just being more deliberate about that I don't know about you, but I've kind of been like a, a random newsletter person. Like when I have something to say, I'll say it, but I've never been the kind of person that feels compelled to send you something every single week. Um, I also don't think most people need that. Like we're bombarded with marketing messages and just media constantly. 
And if someone follows me on social media, like let's say Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Threads, LinkedIn, they don't need a weekly newsletter on top of that. And my newsletter often covers things that I don't share on social media too. So I definitely am intentional about curating stories and perspectives that add to the conversations I'm talking about on other platforms. So that's that. And yeah, I just, I'm very, very excited. There's a dress code for this event and I tore my closet apart, like finding something and I still feel like I failed, but I'm, I'm really, I love this um, dress. You'll see the full of it on Instagram, I'm sure. Um, is it Dianu? I wanna say it's Dianu. Yeah, this feels like a Dianu. Um, there's lots of West African brands that I love. Grassfield, Dianu, um, gosh, there's two more. Oh shoot, it's, I'm sleep deprived. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're just really, really, um, I'm trying to remember it and I feel like I'm just gonna stall. So that's about it. Stay tuned for a better video <laughs> next week. Um, I kind of like that I was able to shoot this on my phone because normally I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I would have over, overthunk, overthought. All right, that's my cue. <laughs> I am so upset about my nails. Like usually they say the preparation for a trip is more work than the actual trip and it's so true. These nails I just got like three weeks ago, like they are supposed to stretch me. And then I got what was supposed to be this 28 day glue on Amazon and it's been 28 seconds. Like it just pops right off. So I'm feeling very ashamed. So tonight your girl is unfortunately gonna be hiding one of her hands behind this one. And I'll, I'll just try to like keep my hand in my pocket or something. And then I have an appointment here at the spa for some overpriced <laughs> shellac, but at least I'll have like white on my nails and it'll just be very basic, but something um, on top of this. But yeah, it's been a good week. I've been just, just, man, just cruising. This is one of those times where you're like, life is good because you just got things on the calendar, you're meeting up with friends, you're re reuniting, you're having great conversation, the weather is good, you know, it's just all of the things are just clicking. You're feeling great about social media. Right now on my Instagram, I'm also even in a phase where I, I don't care what I, I'm just like posting whatever. Nothing is curated, nothing has a storyline, there are no cover photos. And I just kind of allowed myself to do that for the past two weeks. Ever since the mid-year makeover, actually, like I just started just going for whatever. And it's been really freeing. Um, it is going against <laughs> my aesthetic designer's heart, but I love that I'm just allowing myself to break my own rules. Speaking of the mid-year makeover, oh my goodness. How do I win every single time? I, I'm gonna say it's the marketing. I think the way that I market things attracts the right type of people because I had my sister like share feedback. She was like, "Quote: well, these women are all so educated and smart. And like, this is such a great group. <laughs> She's like, it's just a, such a high quality group. And I love that. Like sometimes we focus so much on like these massive launches. I have always been about like intimate, experiential, cozy, but like tight knit community. Like I don't, I, I don't mind it, of course, especially with digital products, but I don't care to have hundreds of people that I'm trying to speak to and move on Zoom at once. Uh, my, my sweet spot has always been around 30, and I love that because it just allows me to actually learn people's names, create actual relationships over the span of time that we're working together, remember people, have inside jokes, and for them to all connect with each other, share Instagrams, and hopefully develop friendships and accountability partners within it. So it's exciting. You you all will definitely see phase two. So um, here's kind of how it's working. We have the mid-year mid live series, which is four weeks. And then from that, I'll kind of create some type of digital offer, which is kind of like something like the mid-year manual. And that will go out much low, lower ticket. And it's just for people, if they want to basically learn everything that we did in the last four weeks, 
but have it at like a DIY, you know, do-it-yourself kind of um, pace. Oh, is that a mosquito? <laughs> yeah, so they'll do that. And then, um, yeah, and then from the mid-year people, we uh, might have a retreat. So I'm excited. I just, I just love that I get to design my offers in a way that like fills me up and also creates opportunities for people to work with me in ways that they probably didn't imagine or dream of, but I just like, it has to feel right. I don't create my launch strategy or my sales funnel. Like, okay, it has to work like this. I read the room and I read the energy. And if I find like, these people would be fun to, to hang out with in person. Let me see if there's a retreat here. So I'm excited to see what comes from it. But thank you all for joining. Um, <laughs> I'm just, blah, 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 blah. my ADHD brain, I think I'm like, blah, blah. I feel like a little bit spazzy. So apologies. God is good. I feel so blessed. This has been just a beautiful few days. And I'm just like basking in the joy and the goodness and the gratitude that I feel for life. It's so full. It's so present. It's so, mm. I just, I just hope everyone can feel that in life in whatever way that looks like. Looking at your kids in the morning or walking in the forest, just like that feeling of like, I'm so glad I get to be alive and I get to do this thing called life. Like, it's just an honor. So I, I'm going to shut up because I don't know how to end this video, but thank you for watching and I'll see you next week with a better format, a better camera and back to regular scheduled program. Thank <laughs> you.